Well, as usual, this is as good as it's gonna get. Everybody. Welcome to Morning Muslim Man Monday. I'm Jake. And I'm Jerry. And today, we will be reviewing... Morning Muslim Man Kanashimi Twilight. Kanashimi Twilight. I'm missing up my new hair. I got new hair! Do you guys like it? What do you think of my new hair? He... Don't say anything. He has Yossi hair from when she graduated. So as most of you know, but some of you may not because you don't pay attention to the world and what's going on, Kanashimi Twilight was the graduating single of Yossi. I've cried my tears, so I'm in a more stable place this week to discuss her graduating. However, I am still emotional and not happy about it. So let's talk about the lyrics first. This is one of the first angry songs that we've had since Shabondama. We've had a lot of like Stop, angry sex songs, but none, none that were like, mm, you broke up with me. I found the lyrics of this song to be very poetic and pretty. I really like the lyrics. Musically, this song was forgettable to me. Why? This just wasn't a very distinctive song for me. It's not a hummable song. Not like or oh yes no though or my favorite. Smile, smile, smile. So, lyrically, I thought Kanashimi Twilight was really poetic, and I really, really enjoyed the lyrics of the song. Musically, it's forgettable to me. Sorry, guys. I disagree. I think it's very memorable. I think the fact that it's such a hard song makes it something that is memorable I, to me. I think you are confusing novelty for musicality. I like it, and I think On, a lot I'm of I'm not saying it's a bad song. I'm just saying, uh, from the novel standpoint, yes, it's a rock song. It's very different genre-wise from Morning Musume, which makes it very, very memorable. However, on a purely musical, from the musical standpoint, from looking at the catalog of Morning Musume songs that I now know, I am not humming this tune. And I'm better at picking up tunes than that. There was just something unmusical about this song to me. Well, fine. Let's talk about the music video. This is the music video for me that is the most conflicting of all of them. Because the song is about anger, madness, sadness. And then you have some of the girls that are really conveying it. like, And then you have people like Aika, who's like, all smiley like Ooh, happy song, happy song, happy song, happy song, happy song, happy song. Na, 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 na. Can you tell which members he doesn't like? I like Aika. I think she's cute. I didn't like her with her pouty voice and face and all that stuff. But I really liked her. I liked her voice in this song better than I liked <coughs> her in any other appearance I've ever heard Aika before. And then you have Miki who's smiling her whole way through this song. So I just think that this music video was a little bit conflicting compared to other songs where there's been a solid emotion in the whole thing. Here's, here's the deal, boys and girls. Kanashimi Twilight is also one of the first songs I heard. When I first met Jeremy, he said, Oh, I listened to this band called Morning Musume. You should look it up. You showed me Kanashimi Twilight. And I believe I purchased and downloaded Kanashimi Twilight from iTunes. So I have known this song. This just, I realized this just now. I've known this song as long as I've known Jeremy. And I still cannot hum it. Poetically, I think it's really cool. And lyrically, I think it's really cool. I love the message of the song. I love the words. I love the, you know, the flow of the lyrics. I like the fact that it's novel in its kind of rock attitude, its hard edge. Musically, I don't find the song very memorable. But the music video was kind of a miss for me, also. Just because like everybody talks about Kanashimi Twilight. Kanashimi Twilight is the song. 
that everybody knows when they think of, you know, when, when you hear Morning Musume, everybody always says Kanashimi Twilight. So I don't know if it's like I've just kind of forgotten about the song and I've been like building up to it and it's just I, I overbuilt it in my head or what, but um, I liked, I loved the styling of the music video. I thought the girls all looked really hot. Um, I didn't really care for their patterny, flowy dresses. If it's not blue, it's not good. This video looks a little cheap to me. It did because it was a solid white room and then they had a big pink canvas that was set behind them. And then there was a separate room where there was like this big tube Tubes. that looked like they had pulled it out of the ground, but it was all white. And then there was these like cool shaped like chairs that looked steppy like, chairs. They were like half octagons or something. They were cool looking, but they were just odd and it was just, it was very cheap. You're right, it felt very cheap. It looked cheap. So, I don't know. I'm not saying this is a bad song, don't get me wrong, because I know that Kanashimi Twilight is very important to a lot of uh, Morning Musume fans. This just isn't my favorite this week. And I mean, maybe also it's because Yossi's leaving and I know Yossi's leaving, and so maybe I'm just kind of like a little like about it. I'm not saying it's a bad song, it's just not my favorite. I feel like this song stands out to me as a song that is completely different from Morning Musume, and I almost feel like it's not Morning Musume. Like, the way that the styling is, the way that the costumes were, the way that the music video is, it just feels like a completely different group to me. And I don't know if that's just me, but I, that's how I feel about this song. Like, when I think of Morning Musume, I think everything pretty much flows together. But then Kanashimi Twilight and, like, maybe one other song that I'm not really grasping at the moment really just stick out as, like, these two, like, these are huge things from Morning Musume that didn't fit in with the rest of them. Because I do remember when I heard it the first time, I liked it. Mm -hmm. But I think now maybe just after being exposed to everything that is Morning Musume thus far, because it is kind of out of the box, it, I, I'm not accepting it the same. It doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel songs. the same. So I think a combination of that, Yossi leaving, and this I Love Hot Lucy mess. Hair. Oh, Jeremy! The makeup, I think, was really awesome for this video. I loved all of of that. I think it really complimented all of them, except for Aerie. Aerie looked awkward to me. She really stood out in a bad way. I, I did like the makeup styling. The hair and makeup for this video was really fun. I was obsessed with Nigaki's Jersey Shore, Snooki Bump It. Um, Koharu had a Snooki Bump It. And then, um... I loved Ai's ponytail. The little side ponytail, I think, works the best for her. Sure. She had the big, like, blue, yeah. red, like, one-piece costume. Which, by the way, her and Aika both stood out to me as the most unique of all the members. So for the most part, they pretty much had, like, a uniform, uh, nice dress shirt, nice, like, schoolgirl skirt, where I had, like, a one-piece, It was a vintage, long, it was like a vintage, vintage sailor. Vintage, like, hipster dress. It was she a... She looked very hipster. It was a vintage sailor, uh, like beach dress or something, mm -hmm. bathing suit almost. It was really cute. I and like then Aika had, she had like a business looking suit almost. It was like, it didn't look like the rest of them though. It was more uniform rather than like a, one, a top and a bottom. It looked like there was like more thought put into the two of them compared to everybody else. I liked Yossi's styling. What I did like, and this is my thing that I'm going to bring back to an important single for Yossi, is that Yossi came in for Happy Summer Wedding, and in that was, uh, it wasn't the graduating single for Yuko, but it was a pretty big one for her, and she only got that one big chunk at the bridge. And so I think that it was kind of echoing that as well, is that Yuko was the leader at the time, she got that big chunk, Yossi's the leader now, she gets that big chunk, and as well as the fact that um, one of the big singles for Yossi was Mr. Moonlight, which had the ties and the dress shirts. And this had ties and dress shirts. I really like this song as a graduation single for Yossi because she got such a big chunk of it. Um, I told Jeremy I can't really think of many other people, many other graduating members who got such a big chunk in a video that was already so focused on them. Mm -hmm. Because even though like her solo line was pretty much an uninterrupted shot of Yossi, and then they kept going to her, she was center in the dance, even though she was in the back, the camera was like focused on her, and then all the other girls were dancing around her, like this, this is our beloved leader, we're dancing around her. Yeah, this whole music video and song was like one big love letter to Yossi, mm -hmm. and I, I, the only person who's come close to that is Abe with and her Godo. graduating single, and Godo, but even then, like, 
if you told me that the, those were their graduating singles, I don't think I bought it at first. I was like, oh, they should have gotten more. This one, like, this was so Yossi centered. She was there in the center of the music video. Even when other girls were singing, there were shots of Yossi, you know, like, reaching out, reaching like, out. Love you, love you. She had her big, her big line that was totally focused on her. And then the music video ended with a long, lingering shot on Yossi. And this is the first time I've watched a graduating single and thought, yes, this is a good send off for this member. This was their graduating single. Mm -hmm. Even though it's not my favorite song, I think it kind of, looking at it in terms of um, Yossi as a member, I think it kind of fit. Because whereas all the other girls are, you know, they're girly and they're morning musume and they're let's do us all up in pretty dresses and we're like little pretty baby dolls, Yossi's always been kind of the offbeat tomboy of the group. You know, every other graduating member at their graduation is, you know, very stoic or they cry a little bit and they don't really say anything. Yossi's cracking jokes the whole time. And I showed him the graduation uh, message. It was so cute. But it, but it just was so different to me. Everyone else is very stoic, like, hi, arigato, hi. With little, you know, with a little tear every once in a while, little re reassuring smiles. Yossi the whole time is cracking jokes, mugging at the audience, like, She's just, she's been very, very different than the other girls. And maybe that's why this song is standout-ish to me, because it is so much different than the other ones. Like you said, a lot of the music videos are very pretty. They have the makeup and the hair and the pretty flowy dresses. And a song that's about love and this and, and that. And the music. And me is really like different. And the music, stands out. the music in all the other songs is so conventional almost. I think, I think Sunku, write some very interesting stuff that you wouldn't expect but I, conventional in that sort of you know pretty girl band musicality sort of way is what I'm getting at whereas this one just kind of is like here's the box I'm not gonna go in it very much like Yossi is as a member so you know while it's not my favorite song it screamed Yossi to me whatever it was harder it was grittier it was a little tougher a little more boyish you know a little more like a boy song and I really really liked it the lyrics weren't a boy song but you know what I mean? It just, it was very... Why don't I dress boys? It's cause they lie! <laughs> Should I tell you this now, or if I'm in Sunku? Who's leaving now? Do you want me to tell you who now, or is I'm in Sunku? Tell me now. Okay. So... Do you remember what happened to Mari? Um, she wanted to get married, and so they kind of jumped her out. She was caught with a boyfriend. Oh, that's right. By Friday, the magazine. Friday, Friday, ruining careers, it's Friday. Our beloved friend Friday, which also caught Kago in her smoking scandal and got her booted from HP, has muddled themselves again in Morning Musume and caught another one of our members with a boy. Ooh. Miki is being kicked out of the group. Sorry. So this is her last single. She was leader for that 38 sucks. days. I think she has the shortest leader tenure of oh, any other leader. That's why I becomes the leader so quickly. I knew when it. Okay, when the, we were watching the graduation and Miki was like, you know, I'll try to be a good leader. I was like, that's not right. I is supposed to be the leader. So if she becomes the leader. I is now the sub leader. But because of the scandal, I becomes leader 38 days later. I believe it's 38. She has the shortest tenure. Mario that, has three months. That and sounds like uh, that scary movie series, 28 Days Later. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah! Mari had about three months of leader seniority, and Mihi had a month and a week. That's sad. It's very sad. It may have even been shorter than that. I mean, but, but I... No love lost. I mean, Mihi just came in relatively recently, for me, in terms of songs and singles. And what he's saying is that he hasn't noticed her up until this point, until I pointed her out. I've noticed her the last couple singles, and I like her name, Miki 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 Miki. But he's not ever noticed her. <laughs> she doesn't stand out to me, so uh, it's no I love Miki's voice, but I'll, it'll be sad to not see her anymore. And thinking of Onanisa Chiare, which is going to be the next single, it seems like a song that I really could put Miki in, and she would have sounded really great. So it makes me sad that she's not going to be in it anymore. And you could tell that the next single was designed for her voice, and they couldn't put it in there. Somewhere Mari's going, girl, you know my pain. <laughs> so, time for questions. Questions and answers. Answers and questions. 
Last week, I asked you guys, did you think Ego Ayo Yes Nude was sexual in a gross, creepy way, or if it was sexy in a, oh, get it kind of way? Here's some of your answers. Page of the Night, thank you for agreeing with me. I appreciate that. I agree with Lady Yell Girl, who said that she thinks that Ego Yes Nude who stated where I Know Sona Touched My Heart didn't, because I Know Sona was like this creepy pedo. <clears throat> And Ego Yes Nude was like a... I know Sono touch my heart. More like, I know Sono touch my... Don't sing it. Oh, and P.S. I want to give a special shout out to um, Andrew Love Mizuki for catching my um, ankle reference in the Roman singing skit last week. I did, that, I did that on my own. He didn't even tell me to do that. I've just heard him and my little brother talk about... Ica and her ankle. Ica and her ankle woes, and so it just popped in my head to do it. So thank you for catching that. I appreciate it. Be out of here and look pretty. Thank you. So la so it's time for our traditional graduating single week, which is so it's. <laughs> So it's time for our traditional graduating single song. Question. <laughs> you can't. Stop. <laughs> so it's time for our traditional graduating single question, which is Do you think this song is an appropriate graduating single for Yossi? Let us know why or why not below. Well, I killed Jeremy. And my question for this week is Which version of Kanashimi Twilight do you like better? Do you like Yossi's version, or did you like Ai Chun's version when she took over as leader? So anyways, this has been another installment of Morning Musume Monday. And we will see you all next week when we review Onini Satchiare. Try saying that. Onani Satchiare? Onani Satchiare. Onani Satchiare. Are. Onani Satchiare. Onani Satchiare. By the end of next semester, I should conceivably be able to actually start saying these singles. Of course, by the time I'm done with next semester, we're going to be all caught up, won't we? Yes. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This guy will see you tomorrow, uh, and I will see you tomorrow. No, I will not see you tomorrow. I will see you all Wednesday. Or you can go over to my channel and watch me today. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jake. And I'm Jeremy. And this has been Morning Miss Mim Monday. Peace out. Thank you, think I'm up. Come in. Roman, I am very, very upset about Minky's departure. And, oh my god, what did you do to your hair? Don't you talk to me about hair just because for once you look like Reba McIntyre. <gasps> oh, my dreams have come true. I'm trying to hit your head off. Just because for once in your life you have normal hair and I have hair of a particular color, you are racist against my hair. Your hair looks terrible. <laughs> my hair looks fabulous. Too. Living the dream, so cool. Your hair looks awful. And it better not be as bad as the costumes I'm going to ask you to design for my next music video. You better design some good ones that don't look like this. This, all of this. I want gold and feathers. Make it look good. In two pieces. Show off the stomach and the boobs, everything. Get, where did my, make it look good. I'm gonna make those girls look like a bunch of golden chickens. Mock my hair, will I'm gonna go have lunch with Yossi. Now that she's not in the group anymore, we can talk crap about Sue Q. <laughs>